So I got to hit Historic Route 66 today, uh, March 28th. But uh, yeah, I just on it for a little while, so I figured I'd get uh, footage. March 31st, I'm only a few miles into the run trying to get to Illinois, and uh, my stroller broke. Uh, you can see my wheel here. Um, yeah, so that's not good. So I'm sending it via cab to a hotel and uh, I'm gonna run and catch up to it and have new wheels overnighted, so... Good time. First, I'm crossing the Missouri River. <laughs> thought I was gonna say Mississippi. Uh, that's coming up in a few miles, so I'll be back shortly. Here we are, March 31st, on uh, Lewis and Clark Boulevard. About to cross the Lewis and Clark Bridge over the Mississippi into Illinois, so... Uh, think about this for a while. Happy it's finally here. Take a look. Here we go, across the Mississippi. It's pretty exhilarating getting across the Mississippi. Think about that for a while. Now, officially. So, that's a big one. Friday, April 1st. Um, thank goodness my wheel did come in, but uh, I got a little bit of a late start. Uh, I'm starting close to 11 o'clock and have about 40 41, 42 miles to do today. Um, good news, a great morning. Um, met some really nice people, stopped at a bakery, and they gave me some of these hot cross buns. There were eight of them, there's only five left now, they are awesome. Um, so I'm going to chow down on this and get going, and uh, if I keep the pace I'm going at, I should arrive just before sunset. So. April 5th. It is day 76. I'm uh, on my way to the Champaign-Urbana and then Danville, which will be my last city in Illinois, uh, which will be good, but I have about 54 miles or so to do today, so that's going to be, um, again, another another long day. But fortunately, I think out of all my 50-plus milers, this one might be the easiest. Um, it's The terrain's pretty darn flat, as you can see here. Um, 
and pretty much as far as you can see. I'm taking a lot of back roads, um, so I'm hoping I won't have too much traffic. And I will be running through the University of Illinois today, which I think will be um, pretty cool. But uh, yeah, it's actually in the 30s, but compared to the weather yesterday when it was in the 40s with uh, that strong um, northwesterly cold wind, this feels pretty darn good. So I'm going to uh, soak up the sun and uh, enjoy feeling good what I can because I'm only about six miles in. So, so it's uh, still April 5th, and uh, I made it to the University of Illinois. It wasn't on my original route, but uh, that's still pretty cool to run through. I haven't been here before, and I'm just running by the football stadium now. Can't really see it too well from this angle, but yeah, so nice surprise way to kind of break things up a little bit. Uh, about 20 miles in, I have about 34 to go, so um, it's looking a lot of miles ahead of me, but I'm making great time and I'm not tired yet, so so far so good, although I expect that to change probably. Then I'm on the campus of uh, University of Illinois and uh, made to the football stadium. You can see in there a little bit. So it's cool. I haven't been here before, um, but not really going to stay long. About 20 miles in, and have about 35 miles to go, or 34. I don't know. It's a April 6th. I am about 37 miles into today's run. Still have about 14 remaining. Um, since yesterday morning, that's 91 miles on my legs. Um, so the exhaustion is definitely set and really didn't sleep well last night. And these 14 miles seems like it's going to be an eternity. Um, feels like we're going to get there. But just uh, one step at a time. And if for some insane, crazy reason, ever think about doing this again, which right now I'm saying will never happen. Just think about how I feel right now, because this, uh, this is like a super, super big wall uh, I'm trying to push through. But I'm still moving, so that's a good sign. Just hope I can uh, keep moving for about 14 more miles, and then I'm going to stay put for a while. <laughs> it's April 7th, it's day 78, and I'm about 8 miles into a 41 mile day. Uh, a few miles, a few days out from Notre Dame. Still looking forward to that. Um, compared to the last couple of days, 41 doesn't sound that bad, but it's on a highway here, uh, actually without much of a shoulder, and it's actually pretty busy. So uh, mentally, I have to stay on it and uh, constantly jump on and off. Feels like that red light, green light game you play as a kid, um, except not so much fun. So we get going. Um, should be done fairly early today. Hopefully, get some get some more sleep and catch up on some logistics. Um, but yeah, feeling pretty good. Um, Looking forward to it. Today is April 8th, it's day 79. I'm uh, just a couple days away from Notre Dame now. I'm taking some back roads because yesterday was really difficult jumping on and off the highway. So as you can see behind me, just uh, empty cornfields and this is what the road looks like that I'm taking. So nothing too exciting, but uh, I can deal with that. I'm only about six miles in, but I'm thinking it's going to be somewhere in the mid to high 40s as far as the mileage is concerned. And it's uh, kind of a nasty day. It's drizzling now. It was raining earlier. It should be getting rained on later. But uh, today is Saturday. It's April 9th. Mark's a big day. Um, I'm going to be arriving at Notre Dame sometime around noon today. Um, Thank goodness it's only about 26 miles. Um, I got pretty excited that I would be arriving there today, so I crushed my first two miles. And then the uh, <laughs> all the mileage I brought in the past week was about 309. Uh, it caught up to me. I was like, hold on a second, you're going nowhere. So I'll wait until that adrenaline kicks in again until I get a little bit closer. Uh, but that soreness still feeling pretty good. And uh, I remember planning this to stop at Notre Dame, and now that's finally here. Um, really great feeling. So I'm about four miles in, so I've got about 22 miles to go. And uh, it's April 9th, I just arrived at Notre Dame. There's the dome, and there's my friend running towards me. So here we are, April 9th, 
mile 2500 and one or two. Uh, but the big news I'm at that for a long, long time. There we go, this is a good view. Remember when I first came here in uh, 2001? Feels like uh, feels like it was just yesterday. Pulled right up here, uh, main circle, and uh, never would have thought I'd be here. But this is this is awesome. Feels real good. Here I might as well run around campus a bit. So in the background, um, it's Notre Dame Stadium, and then right here is a place that's a really cool building. I probably didn't spend enough time in there as a student. Um, <laughs> don't tell my dad. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Like I'm five. <laughs>